Well, what's up, guys? Welcome all of you to another episode of Gameplay Review from Gaffy Army. I'm Alan, and today I'm gonna review a really interesting Blade Runner game that people have talked about it a lot recently. It's the parallel of the Foundation game. I would like to thank the team for offering me this opportunity to play the testnet. And if you're new to this channel, please hit like and subscribe as we have a lot of things to show you. No further ado, let's check it out, shall we? If you aren't familiar with this project, you can check it out our project review about the parallel. I've done incredibly detailed information and analysis about this project, so you should check it out before moving on to this one. So right now, I'm at the main dashboard of the Parallel Foundation game, where I can build some power art out of my imagination. But be aware that the Foundation game is just a part of the Parallel gameplay, as the game also offers many other ways for gamers to participate in, not just crafting special items, but also do mining, exploring, doing missions, owning some lands, and forcing someone to work for you. Yeah, the parallel is just like an open world where you can do anything, create anything, and earn rewards. So what you are seeing here is just a part of the parallel, not all. Okay, I'm kind of confused in the first play because I have never seen any kind of this gameplay like this before. It's just like a whole new experience, to be honest. You might think it's really hard to craft something, but no, it's really easy. Let me show you. So you can see here, it says build a parallel art. The power art is a tool for you to craft and make paragons using runes. Paragons is just like the characters' item crafted by players in the power level, and runes is a materials, and it vary in different rarities. And from the power art, you can create many paragons with varying stats and properties depending on the combinations of runes. But the testnet doesn't have this, so we won't talk much about this. This is the toolbar. As you can see here, where you can execute some com commands when click on them, we have move, add, paint, erase, copy, pass, clear, anything you need to make a perfect pixel art. So, for example, I click on paint to add some blocks on the layer here. Paint some blocks on this, and it will appear on this layer inside this layer box here. And if you don't satisfy about this, you can erase them. Click on erase and hold the left mouse button and erase. And if you want to widen the blade of your design, just add some on the outer edge, and it will automatically widen for you, like you can see here. But be aware that this only the 2D design, so if you want to make some 3D object. You will have to use the layer cutting bar, and you can see here there's many different layers here, one to twelve. So I I move to another layers and add some more layers, add some blocks on this. And yeah, it appears on another layers, and you can copy this and move to another layer and pass. If you want to make some consistent 3D design. And you can also change the view to adding some block in another directions. So right here, I want to add some rule around this one. Or you want to make something on top, you can change on this. The also top too. And move to this and add some. Looking cool, right? And super easy to. This tool is freaking useful in crafting, designing something in 3D. You can make some really cool thing from this tool, some majestic construction that like you can see in Minecraft. But the crafting in Minecraft is much harder than this one, especially for newbie because it doesn't have layers. Yeah, and you have to think out of the box to make your own design. And yeah, you know I love crafting thing, but I cannot design or make anything in Minecraft. And this game is truly offering me the opportunity to explore my creativity much more easily. I can make something that I thought is totally impossible for me. Let me craft something for you. Our Gaffy Army logo.
So freaking cool, right? It's got me just like one hour to crop something like this, and I was fully immersed into the game. But I think this crafting gameplay is not for all the masses because you have to be patient and thoughtful designing. But I think I have had a really great experience in the Foundation game. After crafting, you can click on save to the history to design it later on. And also, you can also click on export in both images and also models if you want to move to another computer and you have models to import in your design and you can redesign them. So like this, um, this is the import from the last model. You can click on this. There will be a submit button in order for you to register a parallel copyright. Please keep in mind that the system requires time to estimate the copyright of your artwork and which are a fixed fees if the registration is approved. The copyright system in here is really important because it's about crafting and if you want to own rewards from your assets, you must have the right to own these digital assets. It's like NFT, which is something that you cannot have in some traditional games like Minecraft. Because everything creating in Minecraft is belonging to the developers, so you cannot sell them. But everything has changed with the parallel, and I felt really excited and happy for this. So I think that's all for my thoughts and tutorials on the Parallel Foundation game. Hope it can enlighten you some of the core gameplay of the Parallel. I think I have had a really great and fun time with this kind of crafting game. And I'm so excited to test some more games from the Parallel in the future. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe to catch up with new weekly episodes. And also follow our Twitter and Telegram channels because we have some really good trading signals and knowledge there. By the way, we get free army and see you in the next episodes. Bye bye.